So creating a floor layout on the actual computer that we're going to upload onto the centralized controller. First things first, we need to make sure the screen actually relates to the screen we've got on the actual centralized controller. So we specify pixels, which relates to dots. We need this to be a width of 1890 and a height of 900, which relates to the number of pixels or dots you've actually got on your centralized controller. OK. And make sure you're happy with the image. And that image there is going to turn up on the first two screens. So we notice when we look at the centralized controller, you have the option of up to six screens showing per floor. So I'm using this just on the two. Once you're happy with that, click on File. We're going to, go to Save As. And we need to save this as a GIF file. The naming is very important. It needs to be floor underscore 01. If we have multiple floors, it will be underscore floor 01, 02, 03, 04, and so on, up to 10 floors. When we have that file, make sure it's going to be saved onto a USB stick and save that file. And then we can move on to putting that file onto the actual centralized controller. So what we're looking at doing is adding a new background onto this controller that represents the actual building itself. So first thing, onto the spanner key, username, initial, OK, and password, init, I-N-I-T, and OK, and login. On the initial settings, we're going to scroll across to Floor Layout. Take the front cover off. You may need to undo the screw at the bottom. And then we're going to insert a USB stick with the drawing on. Now, we'll click on the little spanner key. This drawing needs to be 900 by 1890 dots, and it needs to be a GIF file. We need to save the file name in a specific way. It should be floor, and then underscore, and then 01, 02, 03, depending on what floor we're working on. A particular example we're working on, we've only got one floor. And a particular example I've got, I've got quite a narrow rectangular building, so I'm looking for a layout like that. Now I'm happy with that setup. I'm going to read that off the USB stick. It'll confirm if that's come through. OK, that. And I'm going to OK that again. Now, take me back to the default screen there, show me all the indoor units. But there's my actual drawing. And what I want to do now is put those indoor units onto that drawing. So go back onto the other screen. I'm going to highlight all those units, and I'm going to copy and paste them off that screen and put them onto my drawing. So cut onto the top screen there and paste, and it puts them all at the top to start off with. Then I simply move the units wherever is applicable. Drag and drop. Now those two units, for example, and that unit there, I don't want on this particular drawing. So cut, onto the next drawing, paste. And again, just drag down to where I think best represents where the actual indoor units are. And these icons represent groups. And for example there, I'm going to move that set somewhere fairly central. And we'll say that Lozne unit's actually linked into that, so I'm going to put that right beside it. When you're happy with that layout, save the settings. OK, that. I'd remove the USB stick now. Go back to my front screen. And now we have the new layout. And I see where all the units are. When you're happy with that, put the front cover back onto the unit.